Yes, one of the reasons why I'm making this video about sleepovers is no-no because there are many parents that are ignorant of you are sending your children into a pack of wolves. You're sending your children into behavior that been taught at home and you are not being smart about sending your innocent Johnny, your innocent Susie to a home that experiencing nastiness. Ha, ah, sleepover is a no-no because sleepover has set open lot of doors for homosexuality, open doors for lesbian, open doors for sodomite, my friend. So if you are letting your children have sleepover, you are saying it's all right for your child to be gay. It's all right, right for your daughter to be a lesbian. It's all right for your daughter to experience nastiness. Wake up, parents. Wake up and realize that your child is going to the home of perversion. Going to a home of sodomites. Going to a home where sex is welcome under all level. Wake up and realize this, that your child will not come back the same if you are watching this video, and this part three, if you're watching this video, and you see what is God talking about? This God talking about same sex. Same sex because you allow sleepover in the next level. Sleepover is not the same, my friend. You're talking about children are experiencing homosexuality. Children are experiencing going to God doing annual sex, doing oral sex, doing sodomite sex. You're talking about little boys being taught something at the home and you're wondering what they've, what they've learned. They've learned to experience the nasty. Yes, they've learned to experience a behavior that is not welcome in an average home. Wake up parents and realize that you are setting your child up to open the door of homosexuality watching the video right now you are so gullible you setting your innocent child up to a family that you have to investigate to a family that you don't even study to a family that you don't even know if they exist or not there are some children that are raising themselves and the parents work so much the child do everything on their own Especially setting up not the when I was a child and go to God. When I was a child, I used to I used to set I used to forgery, forgery my parents' name. He go to God. And I know it was wrong, but my mother didn't didn't come to school. My mother always had excuses as to why she can't make it to school. So I forgerized, which was wrong. Her name. So I'm saying to you on this video, my friend, I'm saying that. Some of these children, the parents are not home. The parents never home. The parents are in Las Vegas. The parents are gambling. The parents are out there selling their body. And there you living in a home that is reckless. And you're gonna send your child over for a sleepover. And you don't even you haven't, you haven't met the child at all. You haven't met the children. You haven't met go to God, the parents, and you gonna you allow them to go to have a sleepover? That's nasty. You setting your child up for failure. You setting your child up, Lord to God, to go to the enemy's camp and to learn everything that the enemy gonna teach your child. So listen, if you're watching this video, and Lord to God, this part three of don't send your child over to no sleepover. What? Don't send your child over no sleepover because sleepover is forbidden. Sleepover is nasty. Hallelujah. 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 Glory to God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God. Oh God, this mother right now is ready to send her child over to sleepover right now. Oh God, let her know that a sleepover is a no-no. A sleepover is setting the table for horniness. Setting the table up for lesbianism. Setting the table up 
for homosexuality. Oh, Father God, right now, stop this parents. Hallelujah, right now in their track and saying that no, my child will not go over the sleepover. They will not spend a night in pajamas. Ah, glory, because it's nastiness. Oh, God, touch this parent right now. In the mighty name, in the name of Jesus, oh God, touch the parents right now. Let me understand that the sleepover is a tragedy that going to happen. Oh, glory to God. Father God, bless right now that father and the mother to understand. Let the child understand that they can't have a sleepover this time. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. One of the reasons why I'm making this video about sleepovers and no-no because there are many parents that are ignorant of you are sending your children into a pack of wolves. You're sending your children into behavior that been taught at home and you are not being smart about sending your innocent Johnny, your innocent Susie to a home that experiencing nastiness. Ha, ah, sleepover is a no-no because sleepover has set open lot of doors for homosexuality, open doors for lesbian, open doors for sodomite, my friend. So if you are letting your children have sleepover, you are saying it's all right for your child to be gay. It's all right for your daughter to be a lesbian. It's all right for your daughter to experience nastiness. Wake up, parents. Wake up and realize that your child is going to the home of perversion, going to a home of sodomites, going to a home where sex is welcome under all level. Wake up and realize this, that your child will not come back the same if you are watching this video, and this part three, if you're watching this video, and you see, what is God talking about? This God talking about same sex. Same sex because you allow sleepover in the next level. Sleepover is not the same, my friend. You're talking about children are experiencing homosexuality. Children are experiencing, go to God, doing annual sex, doing oral sex, doing sodomite sex. You talk about little boys being taught something at the home and you're wondering what they've, what they've learned. They've learned to experience the nasty. Yes, they've learned to experience a behavior that is not welcome in an average home. Wake up parents and realize that you are setting your child up to open the door of homosexuality.